guys, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I've got an awesome review video for you right here. With the holidays coming up, with family gatherings happening, I've got the Great Northern Popcorn Machine for you. So I'm going to go over all the good aspects of it, anything that's negative about it, everything in between. There's a link in the description where you can buy this thing. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Let's get to the video, you guys. Let's check this thing out. All right, you guys, so this is built by Great Northern. This is a 1350 watt commercial quality and certified. It's a 12 ounce kettle. And basically this thing does heat up very quickly and it pops very fast. So you'll notice this comes with a spotlight warmer, comes with a stir switch, and then it comes with the pot heater on the top here. So it's got the three switches built right into it. So some of the specs, powder coated steel, and we've got stainless steel. And the gears are actually metal versus uh, I know some of the others that are out there on the market have plastic gears. So as far as specs go, good construction. And tempered glass. As far as cleaning this or as far as uh, opening this up, this whole uh, kettle, you just unplug it. Power comes out right here. Tip it down, lift it right out. And that's how you get your kettle out. Very simple. And just put it right back in. Gears are aligned, plug it back in. And you're good. It's got an old made tray right here. All right, you guys, still with the specs. So this is a 45 pound unit. So this isn't like some wimpy little popcorn maker. This thing weighs 45 pounds. As far as size goes, this thing is pretty large. So if you're planning on putting it in your home theater, you need 30 inches, 30 inches high. This thing is 18 inches wide. 15 inches deep. Like I say, 45 pound unit. So yeah, this thing is well built and uh, there's your dimensions right there. So you're wondering, you know, what's the best like popcorn kit or package or whatever. So honestly, I've gone through several. I've ended up using this Jolly Time all-in-one kit. Now this is for the 12 ounce kettle. So if you end up getting one of these and if you really like the stuff you get at the movie theater, like, I, I've done my research, okay? I mean, that's why you subscribe to my channel. So, Jolly Time All-in-One Popcorn Kit for 12-ounce kettle. So, this is the stuff right here. If you want the movie theater quality popcorn, get this stuff right here. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can find it right there. It works great for this popcorn maker or anything else with the 12-ounce kettle. And like I say, link in the description. This is the stuff. All right, you guys, so when you do order this, they include a popcorn scooper, which is cool. They include three big popcorn, uh, plastic popcorn serving cups, and then they include 50 popcorn serving bags along with it, uh, some popcorn measuring cups, and that's it. All right, you guys, so one thing to note is when your popcorn is done popping, you obviously want to dump everything all the way out of the kettle. So you want to just flip the kettle over like that, dump everything completely out of it, otherwise it will sit in there and it'll stir, but it will completely burn and be like cremated. Alright you guys, so the best use or purpose of one of these would be um, churches, schools, businesses, clubs, PTA, varsity, uh, any outdoor sporting events. Home users are probably the top users of these things. Uh, theaters, home theaters, anywhere where you have a big gathering of people and you need to get a lot of popcorn really fast, that's going to be your best use or purpose of something like this. We have um, a lot of family over, we have a lot of friends come over, great big family gatherings, a lot of parties, stuff like that going on. So this is it right here, we just don't have to stop everything that we're doing and make another batch of popcorn. It's like, you know, one shot, that's it and very rarely do we have to put another kit in here and make more popcorn because like I say this thing makes so much popcorn it pretty much takes care of it for everybody. Alright you guys time to go over the positive aspects of this popcorn maker. 
So first off is it does have the bigger kettle. It's got the 12 ounce kettle, which a lot of them don't offer the 12 ounce kettle. Originally I had tried, like I'd gotten as a gift, a smaller popcorn maker. A lot of it was plastic. It was like an eight ounce kettle or something. And I just found that I, I literally spent more time making popcorn than I did watching the movie. All right, you guys, so next positive is it has the warming deck. So you got your popcorn in there, you've got it like filled up to right here or whatever, you just leave your warming deck on. Hit that little light switch, keeps it all nice and warm. People are watching the movie or you got your family gathering going on or whatever your event thing going on. Popcorn's still nice and warm and fresh. All right, so another positive, you guys. Now, I haven't tested this, but this is 40% thicker glass and it's tempered glass. So that was another big feature where we have a two-story house. We're having to carry this thing up and down the stairs if we want it upstairs, downstairs, whatever. Take it outside for some of the events going on, stuff like that, out in the backyard, whatever. So the tempered glass was kind of a big deal and just the thicker glass on this versus some of the others that are on the market. So thicker glass, tempered glass, just a little heavier duty than some of the other ones that are on the market. So that's a plus. All right, so another positive, all metal gears. So the, the gears that spin everything in there and that stir the popcorn and that, they're all metal. So a lot of it, when I did my research again, a lot of the competition uses plastic gears, which eventually will strip or the nylon or whatever when it's stirring your pot. And this thing uses all metal gears, which again is another big plus. It's just gonna last longer, it's just gonna do better and just just last through the years. All right, so another positive is it's got the old maid tray right here in the bottom. So pop these open and you will see it's got the little catch right here. For all the old maids. Another nice feature, just fall through the holes in the bottom of the floor and you don't have to worry about them, you don't end up busting your teeth. All right, you guys, so probably my favorite feature, obviously when we have a lot of family over, a lot of friends over and parties and whatever, this thing literally makes about five gallons of popcorn per batch. And like I say, you make one batch, you're not getting up having to make another batch in the middle of the movie or even partway through the movie. So one, one of these bags, 12 ounce kettle, makes about five gallons of popcorn. So I love it. You make one batch and you're good. People aren't saying, can you make some more popcorn halfway through the movie or even, even just at the beginning of the credits. So love that. All right, you guys, so another positive about this popcorn maker is the whisper quiet operation of all the mechanics other when the kernels actually start popping. All right, you guys, so another positive on this popcorn maker is it pops your popcorn really fast. Like you saw in the video how quickly that popped up this whole bag of popcorn. So it just makes it really fast. You're not sitting around looking at your watch. All right, so one more positive is there is a five-year warranty on what they call consumable parts on this unit here. So parts that basically wear out I think is what that means by consumable parts. I had to look through their literature a little bit. But five year warranty. Alright you guys so let's start the negatives here. So one of the first negatives is kind of a positive but it's also a negative. So make sure when you plug this in that you're plugging into a good circuit. So you don't want to plug into some wimpy circuit or some overloaded circuit in your house. This thing draws 1350 watt right off the top. When you plug in your warmer, you turn on your stir, and then you turn on your pot heater to heat up those kernels. It's 1350 watt right off the top. You flip that switch on. Uh, if you're not plugged into some good solid circuit in your house, you're gonna see your lights dim. It's gonna be like that scene on Christmas Vacation, you know, where they have to flip the auxiliary power switch at the power plant. Otherwise, you're gonna trip your breakers in your house. So make sure that you're plugged into a solid circuit on your house, the one that's not overloaded or has too much other stuff plugged into that. Otherwise, you're gonna have an issue. All right, you guys, so maybe another negative. Now, it wasn't really a big deal for me, but when you do order this product, it comes with these glass doors in a package, very well packaged, but you do have to assemble the doors or put them on yourself. There was a little bit of adjustment to make so that these doors would fit properly and so that they would uh, click on there onto the magnet. 
it wasn't hard. It took me like maybe five or ten minutes at the most, but you have to put the doors on, align them, and you know, not really a big negative, just a little inconvenience. You have to assemble the doors, put them on there, and then get those to align right. All right, you guys, so maybe one more negative on here. When you get a ton of popcorn in here, so check this out. So you'll open these doors to get your popcorn out. If you have like a lot of popcorn in here, like we're talking a couple of batches. So this little bottom tray will kind of come out a little bit like that. That's got sides on it, so it's not too big of a problem. But if you have a ton of popcorn in there, it'll push out just enough where you might lose just a few kernels of popcorn. And so they don't have that secured all that well. Now it is made so that you can pull that out and you can of course scoop out the popcorn without burning yourself on the kettle. But I would say that's in a negative category where that's not automatically held up there unless you got those glass doors closed. So another negative there. All right, you guys, so another maybe downside is this is a little bit pricey. It's running right around $330 on Amazon right now. So there is that, but you do get what you pay for as well. All right, you guys, so my family's owned this thing for probably two years. We've gone through at least 75 to 100 packets of the Jolly Time all-in-one popcorn kits, along with numerous other kits that we've tried before we landed on this one. Uh, we have not had any issue with this. We clean this thing with vinegar and a cloth. Cleans it out really good, especially focus on cleaning out the tub. You can clean it with warm water as well. But like I say, we've never had an issue with it. We love it. It produces ample amounts of great popcorn. Produces it very quickly as well. So I would recommend this thing. I'd give it two thumbs up. All right, you guys, time to fire up the old popcorn maker and show you how it performs. I'm going to time it as well to show you how long it takes to make a batch on this popcorn maker from start to finish. And here we go. All right, you guys, just want to give you a little bit closer look at this popcorn maker. So here's a little bit closer look at the uh, three switches. You've got the warmer switch, the stirrer switch, and then the pot heater. Open up the doors here. And there's your 12 ounce kettle right there, little dumping mechanism. There's what the bottom looks like. You've got your kernel or your old maid catcher right there. And you do have your, your tray for your old maids right there. And then of course right here you can open this up and then scoop out your popcorn. So a little bit closer look at the actual popcorn maker. All right, you guys, let's make a batch of popcorn here. I've got the timer and we're gonna start that from start to finish with a uh, kit, the Jolly Time all-in-one kit. So here we go. Start the timer. Jolly Time Kit, link in the description. First thing you want to do is pour in your butter before you even turn on the heater so you don't burn up anything. Okay, turn on your stir and turn on your pot heater. Start heating that baby up. And so they've got a sectioned off, so you got your butter, your salt, and then your actual popcorn kernels right here. Usually give it a minute, let that butter get nice and hot, and then I'll throw on the rest of the kit. All right, you guys, I'm gonna put the rest of the kit in. Here comes the salt and the popcorn. Just dump it in. Oh yeah, there it goes. And you can see it stirring or mixing in there. You got your stir on. Just close the lid, let that stuff start heating up. So 
So five minutes, and we're starting to get something. Ah, starting to get some smell going here too. Oh yeah. This will be drawing people in. So if you got some event going or something, people are like, where's the movie theater? Because this is the movie theater popcorn right here. This is why you subscribe to my channel. This is the movie theater popcorn, folks. Here it comes. It's right at almost six minutes. Boom. Look at that goodness right there. Look at that yellowy goodness. Oh yeah. By about 6.40, it is literally almost all popped. And then we want to just dump this kettle or else it's going to just sit there and burn. So we're going to dump it all out. I'm going to hit stop right there. And turn off the pot heater. So we don't burn anything. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's one batch. You guys gotta see this. There's one batch of buttery goodness right here, you guys. Good Lord. So we're seven minutes. And look how much popcorn you got right there. So two batches literally fills up this whole thing. But that's one batch of the Jolly Time uh, kits. All right, you guys, so just for comparison, I bought a box of the Pop Secret Microwave Popcorn. We're gonna look and see how long this takes to pop and uh, throw it in the microwave here. And then, uh, of course, we're gonna have to do a taste comparison once we're all done. All right, you guys, we're gonna do a comparison of microwave popcorn here. Got my little timer up there ready to go. We've got our Pop Secret Microwave Popcorn right here. I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna hit start. Here goes the timer, I'm gonna open this baby up. Throw it in the microwave here. Timers are running. Uh, I'm just gonna hit the microwave popcorn button here and it does say on the pop secret thing to not necessarily trust the microwave popcorn button to just stop it when it sounds like it's all popped so here we go okay, we're up to a minute 10 still going nothing popping yet Here we go. It's starting to pop. A minute and 20 seconds. We're starting to get something in the bag starting to inflate. A minute 30. Yep, there we go. It's all starting to pop at about a minute 30. bit over two minutes you guys starting to slow down all right it is sounds like it's just about done I'm gonna stop it so we don't cremate the popcorn 
So we're going to stop it right here at about 220. And yeah, it is no longer popping. We've got a full bag of microwave popcorn here. You can see the butter coming through the bag there. And it is a full bag of popcorn right there at 220 is what we ended up at, you guys. I'll be honest, it does not smell nearly as good as our popcorn machine popcorn. But we're going to leave that up to the professional taste tester that we've hired to come in today. All right, you guys, so we do have the pop secret done with the microwave right here. We do have the jolly time done through the popcorn machine right here. And our professional taste tester is going to tell us which one tastes better. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we have got Miss Emma here today to do our taste test of the pop secret popcorn versus the jolly time popcorn. So the jolly time was done in our popcorn maker and the pop secret was done in the microwave. So she's going to try a little bit of each. She doesn't know which one's which and she's going to tell us which one tastes better to her and if one's too salty or too buttery or not enough and she's going to let us know which is which. Okay, Miss Emma, go ahead and tell us which one you think tastes better. This one is great. So that one's great, okay. And then how's that one taste? Oh, two bites. Delicious. -er. Delicious, delicious er. Mm -hmm. So which one would you pick over those two? If you only could take one bowl to the movie theater with you, which bowl would you? Oh, so you picked the Jolly Time made from a popcorn machine. <laughs> Miss Emma, well. Emma's spoken, so you guys, it looks like it's the Jolly Time Popcorn. Hey, thanks so much for being our taste tester. Yeah. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, I hope this video has been really helpful in making a decision on a popcorn maker. Let me know if you go with this brand or some other brand in the comments. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel as a new creator. It really helps me out. Check out these other awesome videos, you guys, and I'll catch you later.